Guys, <clears throat> what's going on? Uh, we are now less than three weeks away from the National. And I can't freaking believe it. I can't wait. Right now you're looking at my small little studio in New York. Um, I'm not going to show you the rest of it because there really is nothing much else to see. Um, <clears throat> I do have a couple things here to show you though, which I'm, I'm sure this is why you wanted to watch the video. Um, I am wearing pants <clears throat> from the last time that that we saw each other. I wasn't wearing pants, so you didn't see me, but I'm wearing shorts now, which is great. Um, first card is uh, a card I just got in today from uh, PWCC Auction on eBay. Um, this is an upgrade, actually. Uh, this is a 1948, they call this a blue tint. Um, it was like a, it came in like a, a strip of cards and uh, um, people just cut them and that's why PSA designates a, a hand cut. Um, this created an X5 and the one that I had currently before this was a, uh, uh, a one and a half affair, which is a nice upgrade for me and I think I got this for a pretty fair price um, considering that their pop is only like three on this grade for PSA. Um, and I'm going to definitely take this to the show and cross it at uh, for SGC. Um, but I really like this card. It's kind of oddball. It's not one you really see every day. Uh, the back is blank. Um, nothing to really see here. But um, this was act this issue actually, I believe, was issued after his playing career ended and his managerial career began. So you don't really see a logo on his hat there. So it's clear that they didn't have a license of any of any sort to to produce that um, so cool little something there um, this piece is actually really cool uh, this again was another eBay purchase um, this is a 1947 uh, what do they call these um, I think this is like sporting sporting something exchange I don't I don't remember the name of the set I'm the worst um, but I already have this, but uh, it didn't have this great little signature there in the upper corner. Um, and it is PSA DNA certified. Uh, there are two variations of this. Uh, this is, I think this measures seven by 10. Um, there are two variations of this. One, uh, you'll probably see it in a prior video of mine if you follow them, but there are facts and figures that are blank like this that someone wrote. Um, in or there are facts and figures that are actually published. Um, I don't think uh, Hank actually wrote these because it doesn't look like his handwriting. Um, and I bought it kind of hoping that he did, um, but he didn't. But and it's totally okay because I, I kind of like it. Um, but they got like some really interesting information. They have like when he was born. Maybe they took this from like the actual one that had the facts and figures because a lot of this is um, is on there but they have when he was born his height and weight um, uh, uh, set an American League record for most home runs by a right-handed hitter in 1938 that's all at the bottom here I don't know if you can see that um, so I think this is a really really cool Cool image, and this is a really nice picture of him too. Um, uh, yeah, I, mean, I think it's super cool, and the autograph is nice. I hope it, it looks backwards on my screen, but I hope this comes out looking straight up. If not, I'm just gonna re-record it. Um, but uh, I, I really cannot wait for the national guys. Um, work has been kicking my ass, so I'm super ready to get five days off and hang out with you guys and tour the show and buy a whole bunch of shit that I don't really need. I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, yeah, I can't wait. And maybe I'll do another video between now and then, or maybe not. I don't know. But if so, I'll see you then.